Hey guys, welcome to the Brick Separator. Today we're going to take a look at the Lego Marvel Spider-Man figure. So, uh, this is going to be in the same style as the Iron Man one that they've done. Uh, just a little bit of scale there. They're pretty much the same size. Iron Man is just a little bulkier uh, in his whole uh, chest area. But, um, I really like these uh, buildable figures here. Uh, so they're really nice, really like a Lego action figure, so you got movement in the head, lots of movement, um, so that's really nice, you make him look up, you can look down, uh, you got the shoulder pauldrons here which can move, uh, the arms, so you got uh, this whole fins on a ball joint, and then there is a uh, joint there, the hands also move around, you got this nice web assembly there, all the figures, um, fingers um, move around, which is very nice. You really like that. You got waist articulation too, so that's very nice. These are all prints there, which is really really cool to see. Uh, I really liked how the prints line up there too, They're very well. Um, so the arms move around and ball joints on both sides. Um, the legs you got more prints down there, so uh, these are very good range of motion. Uh, so that's pretty good uh, for these action figures. And then you got knee articulation too. I think you just got to bend those to, uh, to do that. And then the ankles too also move. So tons of articulation with this figure. Just like the Iron Man one was. Uh, it's not too hard to get him standing too. You know, see it's not very well lined up. Well... <laughs> That was a, uh, you know, a little bit not normal, but um, you know, you can get him standing pretty easily, not like a bouncing axe. Try to get it working, um, but it's very nice. Uh, around the back, I don't think there's any real detail. Uh, it doesn't look too bad around the back. It's pretty, you know, average. Uh, but I'll do a little bit of a slideshow of um some uh pictures of uh he uh it's different positions you can get him in. Ultimately, I just really love this Spider-Man figure and uh, really all these big uh, buildable figures. I think it's much better than the Bionicle style was. The, I think they're much more close to the, to the actual um, characters. Uh, I think they look really good. Um, definitely hope they continue with it. I know they also have Miles Morales and uh, Venom as well, so might um, end up getting those at some point. I think those, both those look pretty cool too. But yeah, they're just really nice um, figures. Definitely would recommend them. Uh, I think it's great um, for kids. You know, it's just like a action Lego action figure essentially. They're very well built, pretty strong too. So, uh, you, know, you can get pretty rough with it and be uh, pretty safe. The only parts that are probably going to come off uh, with really rough play is these webs and also these parts of the knees. Those little parts could um, pop off, little knee covers there. But ultimately, it's a fantastic set, especially for the price. Uh, I can definitely see them charging, you know, 35 maybe even 40 bucks. Um, you know, maybe without the plaque. Uh, it would be a fairy five, but um, because the Iron Man did come with that little UCS plaque, but um, I really like them. <laughs> I think it's really good. I know, it's, you know, not everyone likes these fins, which is kind of sad because I think they're really good. Um, but you know, they must be selling somewhat well because um, you know, they've been doing these for uh, a little while now. It's been about a little close to a year. Um, but really cool. Um, I really. I just love this. So I'm going to give this set a 10 out of 10 brick separators. So if you liked today's video, be sure to check out some of the other ones here on the brick separator. See you soon.